Hello, my name is Kate and we are moving into the final chapter of 1 Thessalonians today. This letter from Paul to the church we've been looking at over the past few days and we've come to the final encouragement section and there are loads of really encouraging things to pull out of this particular chapter. So are you ready? Let's go. The first thing I want to pull out is uh, written in chapter, uh, sorry, verse five, and that is that we are called to be children of the light, children of the day. Paul's writing this to this particular church, but this is relevant for you and me today. Jesus says, I am the light of the world and we are children of the light. What good news is that? So exciting that we are called to be um, in relationship with Jesus with Father God. The second thing that um, stands out to me in the very next verse is an encouragement to us um, to be alert and to be um, self-controlled. So yesterday's passage in uh, chapter four um, had a bit of instruction and warning just about how we choose to um, use our bodies, how we choose to um, use our time and our, our um, lives. Um, and it's just an encouragement. If we're children of the day, um, that might generally be useful to know that that's awake time. Um, I know that's not the case for all people, but um, it, it's like being alert, being in the day, um, not being kind of um, asleep. Um, I think that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, the third thing just to pull out is... Um, down in uh, verse nine. And um, just in the previous verse, there's kind of references to elements of um, the armor of God, key um, passage in uh, Ephesians, which talks about all the different elements of the armor of God. If you're not familiar with that, go read it. But the next verse, uh, this verse nine, uh, is talking about, we are not appointed to endure pain and suffering, but, that might happen, we're actually chosen to receive free gift of salvation through Jesus. That is so exciting. Like, every, sometimes I have to stop and remind myself what that actually means. So sometimes in a day or in a week or in a circumstance, I might feel the pain of something that is in that moment really intense and really strong. But we're actually chosen to receive salvation and that is that is good news that is powerful that is um life-giving that is energizing um thinking on that verse just keeping that in mind as we go through highs and lows of life all the time um hopefully that makes sense um the next thing is just looking at verse 11 um if we are children of the light, if we are children of the day, if we are keeping ourselves alert and self-controlled, if we remind ourselves that we are destined for receiving uh, this free gift of salvation, that's all the first three things that I've said, then that enables us, the verse 11 starts, therefore, <laughs> so because of those things, it means that we are um, also called to encourage one another, to build each other up. I don't know about you, but I find it really easy to, um, to to skip over this lightly to, yeah, yeah, of course we want to encourage each other. Yeah, yeah, of course we want to build each other up. But sometimes um, that's quite hard to do. Um, you know, you, you find yourself in situations at work or at home um, where um, it's helpful to be reminded that because of all those things that I've already said, that is what causes us to encourage that the work of the spirit in it in us um enables us to encourage one another and build each other up let me stop and encourage you right now who is on your mind right now wonder whether god is prompting you to send them a message how are you doing uh thinking of you praying for you um just it doesn't have to be a long drawn out um thought three thing god will put people in our mind throughout the day and recognize that that sometimes is him encouraging us to encourage them wonder if someone pops into your mind to message today 
let's move on to the final thing. Um, so the the but potentially the most famous verse in this passage um, or verses uh, comes in verses 16 to 18. And this one is rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Wow, wow, wow. So much power in these words and it's really easy to skip over them like the, the other ones. Um, be joyful. Do you feel like being joyful always? Do you feel like do you feel like there's always something that um, enables you to be that? I, I would say it's it's quite difficult to do that in our own strength. It's quite difficult to see um, joy when you're feeling unwell or when things at work are hard or when um, your prayers maybe don't feel like God's answering in the answering them in the way that you want or um, oh a whole load of other situations but this verse this verse is a final encouragement from Paul to the church from Paul to us to look to Jesus he is the joy bringer he is the one who through his joy we get strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm not saying that the circumstances that some of us are facing are um, not ones to be concerned about or to, to seek God in prayer about. Yes, 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 do that. But look to Jesus. This final encouragement helps us. It reminds us that we have a Father in heaven who is um, listening to our prayers. He answers our prayers always. We might not recognise the answer because it might not be what we expect, but he is the one who we can bring all things to, give thank, giving thanks to him in all circumstances. He has good in store for you today. I pray that you will um, just be reminded of this verse in your day today and that you will be able to see the joy of the Lord. Thank you. Bye.